Well, ultimately, uh, Donald Trump is in charge of the Trump campaign, and he seeks advice from everyone around him. Um, he thinks it's very important to get input um, from the, the quote-unquote advisors around him and also for those who work for him. I've seen Mr. Trump ask supporters for advice and what they thought about certain things. So he's always asking everyone for their opinions. So the, the base that was attracted to him in the first place, the, the ones that like his outspokenness and his, uh, his authenticity, will they stay with him if he becomes more... Um, more of a politician to try to, to close the gap that we just heard about that, that John Harwood says uh, he has with, with more conventional voters? Will, will, will he try to, to draw them in by appearing less erratic? I, I guess they call him erratic, uh, people that, that uh, criticize him? Well, they call him less presidential because we've been conditioned to hear politicians say things a certain way and be, tell people what they want to hear the way they want to hear it in a manner and tone that they want. Donald Trump is still going to be Donald Trump, but those supporters who have been with him from the beginning and all the polls show that his supporters are locked in 80 to 90 percent, no, they're not going anywhere because this is greater than Donald Trump. This is someone who has been willing to put everything on the line for his country, to put everything on the line to help the people who haven't had a voice in this country for a very long time. Um. So what, I know you didn't really answer me, will he, so they'll stick with yes, him. Yes, they'll stay. He'll stick yes. with him, but do you expect, how does he, will he win over enough, enough uh, of people that might not be thought of as his demo? Will he win them over by sticking to what he's done? Or, you know, everybody tacks in the general election. Everybody expects Hillary to tack back uh, to the center. Is he going to tack in, in some direction different than what we've seen? Because I guess... People that think he's going to lose would say if he continues along the same uh, vein that he's been in, that, that he's never going to get above 45 percent or, or Look, whatever. We've been hearing this from pundits and talking heads on TV for the last 11 months who have been wrong. And they think they can predict what's going to happen over the next six months? I don't think so. Donald Trump is going to win over a lot more people. He's going to continue to be Mr. Trump. You're going to hear more policy discussions. I'm sure there are going to be some great debates that are going to be coming up. And he's going to win simply because we will finally have a contrast in this country between the Republican and the Democrat. And Donald Trump's policies are very different than your traditional establishment Republican. And of course, that's going to win people over. Uh, we saw it happening in Iowa. We see it happening today, even with some of Bernie Sanders supporters who are looking at Mr. Trump because sure. of his positions on the economy. He said he's going to wait to even talk about uh, a possible vice president until he's the nominee. We're getting closer and closer to where <laughs> he could start assuming that, that it, it, you know, he wouldn't be putting the, uh, the cart in front of the horse. Is that how it works? I don't know. I, I always get it where the way it's supposed to be. But okay, so it's time where he could. Does he pick someone that will deliver a, a key state? Or does he pick someone that uh, maybe has some political experience? Does he pick someone that was in the 17 that started? Or is it a total outlier? Are you advising him on this? Do you have any, can you give us any insight into how that's going to work? Well, he's already said uh, that he would prefer someone that did have experience in government. Um, that person will be working closely uh, with many of the lawmakers. Uh, but Donald Trump is going to pick the candidate um, that is going to be able to help communicate his vision um, and what he wants to do to help America become great again. And I don't know. I mean, this is something that he's been thinking about for a very long time. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been sent over to him to consider. And he's going to look very carefully at everyone involved because it's not just about who can win a state or who can bring this group. It is going to be about a team, an effort that can really get things done for the American people. So he's going to make that decision uh, probably by the convention. Uh, but he's definitely going to take his time in that process. So he needs, did, did you do the math? What does he need of the remaining delegates? It's below 50 now. Um, it is below 50. So uh, he, he did win a majority of the delegates last night. Uh, so we're probably looking at 45% now, I believe. Um, I haven't seen all the congressional counts this morning. Um, but we're going to do really well. Um, he's already ahead in the polls in, in majority of the states moving forward. He's going to do well in California, New Jersey. Um, but we have been saying this whole time that Donald Trump will have the delegates prior to the convention and he will be the GOP nominee.
Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.